Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is being safe. And before we get into any lessons, great twos, we know that we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and we rub inside our hands, around our hands in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing fractions and word building. Let's now start our lesson, boys and girls, by going to page 10. On page 10, we are going to be doing fractions. Now, it's going to be our job to make sure that we name the fractions. What we are going to do first is to understand what a fraction is. Now, fractions are parts of a whole. When the whole is cut into equal parts, that part or one part of it is called a fraction. Fractions can be one whole, one half, and one quarter. So these are the fractions that we will be dealing with today. They even show you with the beautiful pizza what one whole is. Now as you can see, none of the pieces are missing from this pizza. So that means it is complete. One whole is one complete fraction. Then, we are shown one half, where a part of the pizza is missing. But not just any part, half of it. So what we can see is one half. Lastly, we can see that one quarter of the pizza is left. So, after eating one half, then taking another quarter off, we're left with one quarter. It's now going to be our job to say how much of the pizza is left. After that, we're going to take a look at how much of the watermelon is left. So let's take a look at the board so we can show you what all of this means. Now I have two here with me. The first one I'm going to explain is one half. Remember, a whole is when everything is there and nothing is missing. That is one whole. But if we were to only have the side that is colored, this side, that means that that is now half. It is half because it is cut in the middle, meaning that this part is one half. This part is also another half. Now, if we were to do one quarter, that means that the half that we have colored 
we have cut it again but this time we have cut it across and not down so the part we can see here is one quarter so a whole one is when everything is there and nothing is missing one half is when we cut it into half and have one whole side that is equal to the side that is missing and then a quarter is when we take that half and cut that half into half again which would be one quarter so go ahead and try your exercise you can see from the examples that you have been given what a half looks like and what a quarter looks like take your time spell each word correctly and when you're done check by saying it out loud don't forget one quarter is just half of a half i'll see you soon after the advert break follow us on my zone facebook active kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with zoe and zoshi <music>For our lesson now, boys and girls, let's all turn to page 11. On page 11, we are going to be doing word building. Now, it's going to be our job to create two and three letter words. For number one, we're going to read out and then connect the word that matches to the other words. Now, remember, when you're reading two letter words, if you don't know how to say them, that's okay. Sound them first and then you can say them. Remember, letters make sounds. Sounds turn into words. So take your time if it is something that is difficult for you. When you're done reading, now you would have to connect the two or rather match the words that are the same. Let's try and do at least three together on one side. On the board, I have three words. We have the word up, up, an, an, if, if. So I need to match them. Now I can see that I also have an a uh here and this looks like the word up. So I will take my color or my pencil and draw a line to match the two just like in your book the next one that i can see is an so i go and i look for the word an and i match them together then the last one that we're going to do together is the word if 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 so i draw a line from one word to the other that one was simple and I'm sure it'll be simple for you too. What might be a little bit difficult is now the next one, number two. You're going to look at the pictures that are given and then use these sounds to come up with a word. When you have your word, you're going to connect it with lines and then after that, write the word. So. Here we have a picture of one item. It's something we use to throw rubbish in and it gets emptied when it's full. This one is called a bin. Bin. So we know that the word bin starts with a b. So we're going to start here. And then the next word or the next sound is i. Now we have b, a here. So that's not correct. So it looks like it's b -e. So I'm going to draw a line from my b to my e. Now to end the word, the ending sound is n. B -e. n. And I can see that I have a n all the way here. So I'm going to connect my word and I have spelt the word bin. But I also need to write it down. So make sure that when you're writing, you take your time. You start at the top line for your B and you go down, up to the dotted line and round. Then for your E, 
you start at the dotted line going down and don't forget its head. The last letter is the N. So we start at the dotted line and go down, up and round. Now we have spelled the word PIN. So don't forget to look at the picture and then connect with lines and then after that write it on the space provided. Take your time boys and girls and make sure that you finish all your exercise. Try and read all the words so you can practice your reading as well. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you don't know what to do or you are confused, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help, but make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, it's time to sanitize. Remember, when we're sanitizing, we are showing the world that we care about everyone around us. Sanitizing is not just for us, but for our parents too, and everyone we come in contact with. So sanitize as regularly as possible. So now that we're done with sanitizing, I think Swashi can come and play. I thought I saw him getting into the classroom. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Sashi. So from Sashi and I, Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next time. Goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.